Hello everybody and welcome to Provis Gaming and more Europa Universalis for the rights of man playing as Ethiopia. We did just declare war against the Mamluks, let's murder them! Dead. That, that, wow. That, that took all of two days. They're dead. Well, if you were hoping for a long, drawn-out war, I think you are going to be very disappointed, and I apologize about that. But, let's go ahead and get the general in charge of the siege. Let's spread out some troopsies, and, uh, it's gonna be great. Split, 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 split. Okay, take all of them. What's the hockey again? V. Okay. One stay there. One go here. 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 And that'll be it. Okay. We need to do some more conversions. Uh, Mogadishu is next on the list, which is great considering they're already at a 16% chance. You know what? Forget Mogadishu. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna poke the bull too much. Uh, let's do. Let's say Rosetta. Rosetta sounds pretty good. We'll convert them instead. All right. So we're gonna murder the Mamluks. It's gonna be great. How many troops do we actually need here? Nine. Okay, hang on. Uh, we'll leave behind a little extra. Send some of them home, and send others into exile. No, just they're just gonna go off this way, it'll be fine. Yeah, they're already down to medium war enthusiasm. This is almost unfair in a horrible way, but, you know, yeah. By the way, I did see a comment in the last video of someone suggesting that I should just um, attack Funj, whatever they are, make them revoke all their cores, and then just diplomatically vassalize them from there because they won't hate me. Here's the problem, once you declare war on them, they generally hate you, so that's a thing. Um, and on top of that, if I was going to go to war with them, why not just force vassalize them? Why ask politely when I already have a gun to their head? I mean, that seems... That seems a little bit like toying with your food or something. I mean, okay, I, I guess it technically costs diplomatic power, but let's be real. It's not like they're going to cost much anyway. Do I want to waste ten years, you know, trying to uh, eventually annex these guys? And by the way, I can't even use them to really attack anything because I'm pretty sure this is still uncolonized territory. So I don't think they're going to get any claims. I can't even use them for anything. I really might as well just eat them, and that's sort of my plan. So, there you go. Ethiopia is trying their little hearts out to get some more troops, and it's so cute, but it's not going to work. I'm sorry. You're going to have to die now. Uh, let's get this one guy. We need to send one more off yonder like so. Squish, 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 squish. What are we doing as far as ideas? Colonial range, still not very useful to me. But I don't know if I'm going to save it for the tech. I do think it's a good idea to wait. Oh, I also saw a comment in the last video of someone suggesting you can find out where it started. I missed this. Yes, origin, London. So England got colonialism, which seems very appropriate, if you ask me. Yes, very appropriate indeed. <laughs> Anyways, who? So one of the reasons that I'm attacking the Mamluks right now, I don't, I don't think I actually elaborated on this strategy, but one of the reasons I am attacking Egypt right now is because right now the Renaissance is taking too long to spread. It's going to have to go from Damietta to Suez, and then eventually down the coast of the Gulf of Suez, and then through the rest of my territory. It's going to take forever just kind of trickling through one territory at a time. I can get more use out of it by just having all the neighboring provinces you know, to at, at mine as well. Because they'll be friendly owned territories. So by taking Mamluk territory, now I have Suez, Sinai, and Alexandria and a couple other things also getting the Renaissance. And then when they spread, they'll continue spreading it further down here and so on and so forth. More than that, though, uh, this is a strategy I thought of afterwards and I wish I could take credit for it. Uh, there's a lot of development up here, which means that uh, once I've conquered all this land, a higher percentage of my total development will be up here in Egypt, where the Renaissance conveniently already is. So I think it'll actually be a little bit faster to get to the 10% required for me to even embrace the institution. So uh, I like that idea. All the more reason to just conquer Egypt, conquer the Mamluks, have some fun toy with them, you know, stuff like that. Now let's make sure we get into all this terra incognita. I'm gonna take all of this, I wanna know where I am. Now what I wish I could do is like, you know, Hey, I'm in Egypt! Venice, don't you want to meet me? Or something like that, but no one wants to meet me, and I don't know anything about the, the European world. It's kinda sad, actually. Oman has a Regency Council. Well, oh, sucks to be you. Oh, the knights have raided me again! You guys are jerks, okay? I'm just a little Christian nation over here fighting Whoa. Uh, I just lost a fight there. Whoops. <laughs> Got a 
the population there. Um, was unaware that I was going to walk into some more troops. Okay, well, let's just, uh, I can't go into here. Okay, this must be Tunis, so that's it then. Let's go kill them. Yeah, I just lost a troop. Oops, that happens occasionally. Um, we have slaves! Hooray! Um, not really, though, because that would be, that would be bad. Uh, let's make sure we kill the rest of their troops, just so I can say, haha, screw you. Let's convert some more people. Not Mogadishu. Kenna. Kenna will do fine. Elodia Separatists. Eh, they'll go down pretty easily. I'm not too worried about it, really. Okie doke. Well, one thing... Hmm. I'm gonna get the inflation. One thing I didn't consider, actually. I don't think... If I bump up stability right now, what's it gonna cost? Religious unity, corruption. Yeah, better to do this now before I end the war, because then I will have a bunch of Sunni territory and overextension increasing my corruption and also increasing my religious unity and making it more expensive. So I should definitely get at least one stability just before I end the war. Hey, guess who went bankrupt again? I guess I'm not getting any money out of this. The honest merchants of Ethiopia. Why would we lie when we have the best offers? Global trade off and power. There we go. That's a man who's very confident in his product. Okay, we got 99% war score. Let's talk to these Mamluks. What's this up here? Oh, Kara still has not ended their war. That's hilarious. All right, well, I'm taking out, whoops. Right click on them. I'm taking Alexandria, that's not optional. Taking all of this, this is gonna be pretty expensive. Do I just finish them off? I can't take that much. That is all that I am able to take at the moment. Okay. Well, we're looking at a fair bit of over... Um, sorry, not overextension. Aggressive expansion, but the Ottomans would be the only ones who could join, and the Mamluks, but the Mamluks have a peace timer. And I don't think the Ottomans are interested in joining a defensive pact when there's only one member, so... I think we'll be okay on that front. I can also make them get rid of at least a couple of claims or cores. That's not so bad. Let's make them get rid of uh, Sinai as a core, for example. Unless you have any money. Do you have any money? You got 22 ducats. Well, <clears throat> tempting though that might be, um, do I take everything here? You know, I think this is actually a fine peace deal. I do, I think it's okay. I'll have you revoke a core, just for good measure. On Sinai, so I know I don't have any Mamluk Separatists up there later. And that is all she wrote. Wait! Before I do that, I'm about to get 25 prestige. Hey, Warsanga Lee! Um, buddy! Um, I'm gonna placate you and reduce your, your your liberty desire by a little bit since I'm about to waste a bunch of prestige anyway. So let's do that. Just once. You don't have to get too fancy. There we go. That's almost perfect. It'll put me right back up to 100. Excellent. 338 admin power. Ouch. Alright, done. Thank you. The Pearl of the Mediterranean! Rejoice! The holy city of Alexandria is once more under Coptic rule. The historical seat of our sacred church has been liberated. Alexandria is an ancient and proud city founded by Alexander the Great. Many of humanity's brightest minds have called her their home. For many hundreds of years, the scholars of Alexandria studied and taught at the Great Library, which was followed by the Cate... Catechetical? Catechetical? I don't, know how that, I don't know how that's pronounced. School of Alexandria, first in the world of its kind. In the years to come, we will restore the sacred halls of knowledge and produce some of the finest theologians the world has ever known. Gain some more prestige, you say. Also, missionary strength. Well, I'm about to waste a bunch of prestige, so, uh, hey, Warsangali. Can I placate you further? I can! Yay! God bless Alexandria. Boom. All right. That was easy enough. There we go. Ten more prestige. Oh, I forgot that my... I forgot that my mission was going to give me some prestige as well. Whoops. Yeah. Either way. And we get... Ooh, really? Conquest of Alexandria gives us a permanent extra missionary? Really? Is that... That's odd. Triggered modifiers. Yeah, sure enough. Oh, interesting. So I assumed that if we conquered Mecca and Jerusalem, we get a missionary, because that's what most nations in the world get. I didn't realize that the conquest of Alexandria also gave me one. Huh. Nifty. We don't have a lot of triggered modifiers, it looks like. Very interesting. Still, hey, cool, why not? Let's go ahead and uh, core up these territories, and then we will worry about converting all of them. Cairo, 109 power. Ouch. And I forgot the gosh dang stability! Well, now I'm overextended. I'm not going to do it now. I, t 
totally forgot. I can't believe I spaced out on that. What did I just say? What did I just say, guys? I said, don't be stupid and forget that you wanted to get a stability. But what did I do? I forgot. All right. Do we go for the global settler increase? That would greatly speed up my colonial capabilities. I could get both right now. A little expensive. Alternatively, I could save up the power costs, and I have... Oh my gosh, the tech penalty is getting worse. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm going to get the ideas. I'm, I'm buckling down on this idea that we are... Um, that we are not going to be getting any more tech until the Renaissance has spread. An embassy is here. Francisco Alvarez representing the same country that sent the previous emissary, oh, Portugal, wishes to discuss what our two regimes can do together. He says he was looking for a Prester John, and we are apparently the country he seeks. I saw a comment about this. Who was Prester John? I looked it up and I've already forgotten, but someone said something about that. Huh. Should we begin an exchange? Seek aid against the Mamluks. We'll ask them for military aid. Ask for a cultural exchange, power, ching, or... Oh no, ask for a cultural exchange, heck yes. The Patriarch of Africa. Praise the Lord on this most glorious day, Kalu Kalei. For centuries to come, all Copts shall celebrate on this date in memory of our great victory. Finally, we have freed our revered Patriarch, the Pope of Alexandria, from his gilded cage in Cairo. No longer will we have to grovel for our enemies or wait decades to have new bishops appointed. This is the most vital step on our path of restoring the Coptic Church to the greatness of old and beyond. Gain even more prestige and even more missionary strength. Well, that is awesome. Egypt is going to get converted very quickly. It's pretty cool, if you ask me. I like it. I'm, I'm down for it. Uh, let's take a look at our missions. Protect... How many do we need? 34? Oh, I can totally do that. Reestablish the Patriarch of Antioch. I have to own Antioch? The Cradle of Christianity happens? What are these events? These are awesome! But for that, I have to fight the, um, the uh, Ottomans and get all the way up here. That's not going to happen anytime soon. Reduce overextension is also an option, but I kind of like the idea of getting this real quick. It won't take me long. I shouldn't need very many troops, just like one more. To replace the one that we already lost? Sure, why not? In fact, screw it, let's get a cannon. There we go. This is gonna be easy enough. Okay. Corruption is growing, unfortunately, because we're overextended, but what can you do, really? We need to hire a new advisor. I will take the national unrest guy. And that will have to do for the time being. New monarch in Oman, and they are doing something about their piety stuff I don't care about. Okay. Well, overall, things are looking pretty good, I would say. Let's turn off this fort. Look at us! We're looking awesome now! Yeah! Protect against... This is already done. I told you it was going to be quick. Land maintenance modifier is going to save us a lot of money in the future. I love it. Do we want to reduce our overextension? Yeah, probably. Let's go ahead and do that. In about a year or so, we should lose uh, our overextension and get Diplo Rep for free. Very nice overall, if you ask me. Which you probably didn't. But I am one who loves to give unsolicited advice and opinions. Let's make a conquer... Uh, sorry, a uh, claim against Funch. Um, it doesn't really matter to me which one I get, so we'll take your capital for fun. Tegali. There we go. Hello. Okay. Now, we could kill you. Uh, highly redesired Warsongali. I am fully aware of that. Thank you. But yeah. How are we looking as far as our religion? They've actually converted quite a bit. I got a couple left. Not bad. Not bad. And then, yeah. See, this is why I thought they were fetishists, because most of them are fetishists. But their capital is not. Their king's a Coptic, and as a result, I can't kill them, even though most of them are bloody pagans that I want to murder. How dare they? All right. Let's, um... Oh, gosh. Let's improve relations with Hijaz. They're not especially happy with me. And this guy is once again threatening to kill people, and he's just blabbing on and on about it. He thinks he's so clever. Yeah. He's, he's that friend at the bar who has a very special, uh, like, job. Like, you know, it's supposed to be very secretive. Kind of like a security clearance. And he just can't help but tell everybody. Because what's the fun in, uh... What's the fun in having a job like that if you can't tell anyone, right? Yeah. Hmm. Alright, we need to reduce our army maintenance. Or actually, how are we looking? Okay, never mind. Sunni 
Aswan, where is that? Uh, right here, apparently. They're really close to firing. Well, why are they so close to firing? I don't have a missionary here. They're already Coptic. These shouldn't be Sunni zealots. I'm very confused on this point. Hmm. Well, the Mamluks are going to fire very soon, so I actually can't reduce my army maintenance quite yet. Uh, these are farmlands. I could turn on the fort, but everything here is non-defensive. Farmlands, desert, coastal desert. Highlands are the only threat, but there's no unrest here. They won't fire. So yeah, I don't need to turn on the fort. Wherever they fire, I can handle them as long as they're up here in proper Egypt. Twill be perfectly fine. Uh, you should not be Sunni. You should stop that. Rosetta has converted. Very good. How are these cores looking? They're going. The knights, again, stop it. Freaking heck. I don't even know who the knights are. They're still screwing with me. They're fellow Christians. Oh my god, stop it. Stop it! Stop it! Okay. Uh, Ogaden actually is already up to 600 population. It's going surprisingly fast considering. And that's another conversion done. There's the Mamluks, and they fired over there. Interesting choice. Okay, in Cairo. Again, I could have had the fort, and that would have reduced... Uh, the unrest that they're gonna have here because they're gonna siege this province down. But I decided not to because I wanted to save the money, thinking, well, there's a pretty good chance they'll fire anyone anywhere else. But they did not. So, let's jump in there and get some reinforcements and squish. There, they did not siege it down. We were fine. See? Nothing to worry about here. We're in good shape. Just need to, uh, get our manpower back for a little bit. So the Mamluks are down. The Sunni are... At 90%, I would reduce the army maintenance. I'm just a little concerned, because if they fire, then they should be able to switch this religion right away, and I don't like that. Don't think I like that at all. Wave of Devotion expired. Oh, that's unfortunate, but it's okay. No big deal, really. Perfectly fine. Oman, how do you feel about me? Not great, to be honest. Let's go ahead and pull off of the Ottomans. Let's get ourselves another claim on these guys. This one will do fine. There we go. And let's improve with Oman for at least a little while. Hello. There we go. Okay. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Um, if these zealots would ever fire... Well, Mogadishu is now threatening to fire. Gosh dang it. All right. Get down here to Mogadishu. I think we'll be okay. Corruption. Try to eradicate the problem. Oh, good grief. Ignore them. Gain the stability. The corruption. I don't want to lose my stability even further. Good lord. United in prayer. Funge might like me. Nah, I'll take the power. Power is better. Pretty much across the board. My wife is laughing about something out there, and I don't know what. And I feel a little bit left out. It's probably okay, right? I'm not I'm not missing out on anything. And Jaws, why did you stop liking me? I saw that go down. Aggressive expansion, border friction. Alliance. Differing well, I don't see why that would have gone down. None of these have changed. It's a little bit bizarre. But okay. Timurids received a gift from Oman. Why Oman is trying to prop up those losers, I don't think I know. Let's take a look at the uh, institutions if we can. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. There we go. Okay. So yeah, now we're spreading in all of these provinces instead. That's a bit faster, I hope. And it did say down here, by the way, that it's going to cost me a lot of money to embrace. 500 ducats. To embrace the Renaissance. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of money. Uh, there are the Sunni. They did fire. Would you look at that? I don't think I was expecting them to do that. I think I was expecting them to bluff, but they did not, so we're gonna have to kill them. You're not converting my Copts. Heck no. Clergy are advancing. It's fine. Alexandria is a core. A bunch of things are a core. It's also good. Uh, unrests. Things are looking pretty nice. Let's go over here. Actually, do I want to just kill Funj? Let's get the army down here. We're just gonna kill them. There we go. Convert Alexandria. We have three missionaries now. Man, we're high rolling. It's great. And it looks like Warsongali managed to convert something. So there's only these two left. Not bad for them. Not bad. Look at us! We're doing great! We're awesome! This is cool. Alright. Well, Mogadishu, how you feeling? You're down to 0.1%. Well, next year you're gonna go away. 
Actually, once my overextension is gone, you're probably gonna go away. In fact, let's just go ahead and finish off the overextension and then end this video. There we go, court, 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 court. And diplomatic reputation for me. Mogadishu is going down, Funj is going down, Elodia is going down, perfect. Prove legitimacy, colonize Comoros. This mission I shall now take. Because uh, I think that once I finish off with this one, Ogaden, I can actually start working on this uh, this province here. Now, it's going to be annoying because, you know, if we get attacked there or the natives do rise up for some reason, we'll have a problem. But that said, we did deliberately choose the native coexistence pro uh, policy to avoid this problem. So, I think we'll be fine. All right, I have to end this video here, but we are going to go put down Funj next time, I think. Take a little bit of extra territory there. Then start storing up some power with the anticipation of killing Mombasa, the Mamluks, and trying to get some tech once the Renaissance has spread a little bit. In fact, I may... Maybe I can't wait on the Renaissance. Can I not wait on the Renaissance? What else am I doing with the military power? Development, really. But even if I do get the Renaissance to spread, I don't have enough money. Can I afford to fall this far behind in military tech? Not really. Uh, Alright. We're going to at least take the military tech. I'm not worried about everything else right now, but we are going to take the military tech, and we are going to boost... Our stability because I meant to do that earlier and I forgot. All right, now I'm gonna end this video. Thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.